what's going on ladies and gentlemen i go by the name of geo welcome to my channel in this video i'm going to be going over how i passed the aws cloud practitioner exam in two weeks let's get started so what is the aws cloud practitioner exam it is an exam for certification that aws provides um, for the, which is the aws um, cloud practitioner uh, certification which is a certification that shows that you have a basic understanding of IT services and AWS core concepts. This includes AWS services, um, security concepts for AWS, and you understand the billing logistics for AWS because they have to make money too, right? So um, this is a foundational foundational certification, meaning that it's you know it's a basic basic exam just to make sure that you understand. Uh, the basics of it before you start moving on to, um, you know, the more um, core, core um, certifications like, you know, solution architect, maybe you want to DevOps, um, to move into DevOps, or you might want to move into machine learning. They have, AWS has certifications for that, but this is the foundational certification before you start moving into that. You don't have to get this certification, but if you don't have any experience with it, um, this is a good exam to study for. So how did I pass? this in two weeks uh, so the first thing that I did was I took advantage of free resources I'm always going to advise you take advantage of free resources um, so one thing that I did was on a channel called free code camp shout out to free code camp because they provide a lot of free material um, there was a 13 hour course that I found um, by exam pro uh, this was a 13 hour course to go over all of the concepts or the basic concepts needed to pass the the cloud partition exam um, and what I did was for every day watch an hour hour to an hour and a half um, of the video because it is 13 hours long I don't want to spend um, you know three hours watching it and you know I'm losing material because I'm trying to sit there to focus for three hours no I took an hour hour and a half sat there watched the video um, anything that I didn't understand I you know reversed back to that specific point rewatched it if I had to take notes, um, then I did that. But you know, hour, hour and a half, I dedicated per day to watching that video. And to me, it was the most beneficial thing I could have done because he went over everything and he even went over, you know, how to even you know find that specific service in you know AWS. You know, you can create an account, which I did, and go in and you know follow what he did. So the second thing, the second thing that I did was, you know, I talked about how I took an hour, an hour and a half to you know watch the video and there were things that I didn't understand so sometimes I had to take the things that I didn't understand and I had to go and you know look through the AWS blogs or look through some of the documentation that AWS had so that's what I did I took some of the concepts that I didn't understand I went in and uh, you know do a little quick Google research or uh, Google search and I went to AWS blogs I went into the documentation and you gotta kind of have to be careful a little bit with the, the documentation because some of them are old um, so make sure that you look at the date and see, you know, how recent it is because sometimes AWS leaves some old documentation, which the information is not up to date. Um, so I did try to find the most up to date, you know, documentation, um, you know, read more about it, try to get an understanding of it and then continue on with the course. The third thing that I did, uh, and really that's, th these are the three things that you're going to need to pass the exam in two weeks. I don't want to keep you guys for too long. You guys need to go study um, but the third thing that I did was I um, did practice exams so exam pro which are the people that you know I'm gonna leave a link in the description of the video the 13 hour course by um, exam pro um, but they provide a free um, practice exam if you you know put in your email and your you know you, um, your name they provide a verification code you can go in and get a practice exam um, but that practice exam was very useful because it pretty much follows the same um, format of a real cloud practitioner exam um, it came with you know multiple choice questions some of those questions had multiple responses that was useful um, and if you don't really feel like doing that there are other options if you do another Google search there are um, like quizlets you know that you can uh, look for there are other websites that provide free um, AWS uh, practice exam so um, you know you can either either do the exam pro one that you know I'll leave in the description as well or you can you know just do a Google a quick Google search for um, ones that you feel more comfortable with that doesn't require you to put in an email or username um, but I just feel like the exam pro one was was great and they're not sponsoring this video at all but that's what helped me get you know practice that's what we practice to pass the exam in two weeks 
And just a disclaimer, like not everybody has to, you know, rush to pass it in two weeks. I already had a little bit of experience, um, you know, through work and through, you know, playing around with AWS before on side projects. So I kind of understood a little bit of, uh, you know, some of the a of AWS services. Uh, some people may need longer because they never had or they never been exposed to AWS services. So I would say, um, you know, don't look at the two weeks and be like, I need to pass this in two weeks. If you feel like you need more time, take more time um, because some people aren't, you know, they have to pay for the exam. You know, I think the exam is $100 right now. Um, and I did it for free because, you know, luckily my work helped um, pay for it and they pay for the whole thing. Um, but some people have to pay, you know, they have to use their own hard work, earned money. Um, so don't rush the process, practice, feel comfortable with it and then go for it. But honestly, I think the 13 hour course, once you fully understand that course, I think that's all you need really. Um, maybe a little bit of practice exams, but for the most part, I feel like that course does everything. And uh, I would advise creating your own account and playing around with the services that are free because some services on AWS are not free and you don't want to put in your credit card information and they're charging you. So be careful with that, but try to take advantage of going through the AWS services, looking how they're created, looking, going through the, the blogs, the documentation. I think you should be fine. So that's how I pass the AWS Cloud Practitioner exam in two weeks. Good luck and subscribe if you want to um, see more information. Uh, I plan on, you know, doing more stuff with AWS and you know just my, in general software engineering stuff. So go ahead and subscribe and leave a like if you found that useful.